What's up guys? So we're gonna be in the house today. I started painting. Um, I got some paint colors yesterday. Let me turn you around and show you. So this is Drama Queen and this is Poetic Light. The Poetic Light is kind of a really, really light grayish color, almost looks white. So you can kind of see this is where I sampled it. That on top is the primer. So right here is the Poetic Light. And then this is the Drama Queen. My plan for this dining room area was to put the, um, what is it called? This bottom uh, paneling. I want it to be a different color than the top. And so I thought I wanted the bottom to be a color because it goes right into my living room. My living room has the paneling as well at the bottom. And then it goes up to my fireplace. I'll show you. So you can see it goes up the fireplace as well. So it kind of all connects going around and it's all covered through here. So my thought process was originally that whatever color I painted the bottom in here, I would just carry it out throughout the bottom in here and then carry up the fireplace. But now that I have um, started painting in here and I have this color, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna carry it all the way into the living room, but I do know that I like this color. Um, I let it sit overnight. As soon as I put it on there, I realized I liked it. So I'm going to use the rest of the sampling that I have and finish painting as much as I can, but we have to leave in about two hours. Um, and so when we come back, my hope is to be able to um, get some more paint from the actual color from Home Depot today uh, on our way back and then probably tonight I can have this whole bottom painted. I think I'm just going to get a quart because since I'm not sure if I'm going to carry it over and this container seems like it's already going pretty far. I don't think I'll need like a gallon or anything like that especially because I don't know how far I'm going to go in. You guys let me know. Do you guys think I should take this color? Uh, all the way out into the living room. Let me show you actually from a view into the kitchen. So right now, this is the view. When you come in, you can see how you would be able to see this color straight into the kitchen. And I still didn't paint my bottom cabinets, but you would be able to see it. And so since you can see inside of my um, kitchen, I wanted it to be a color that when you look straight across that it kind of blended in in my brain. Um, <laughs> probably doesn't make sense to other people but to me I wanted it to look pretty because I'm the one who's gonna be living here so I chose a color that I thought would go good with um, the colors that I already have inside of my kitchen for the top color I think I am gonna go ahead and get um, a gallon just because I do know that I like the top light color and so and there's more top to be painted than there is bottom so i'm going to get a gallon of the top color the poetic light it was actually supposed to be raining today and it kind of rained for a little bit and then it stopped so i had no plans of being outside longer than i had to today but then you know change of plans it hasn't started raining yet My friends are the ones who motivated me to go ahead and paint the dining room area. Uh, you guys know if you've been following me for a while, I kind of used the, um, I didn't really have a fall and winter garden so that I could, oh no, I didn't need to, I didn't have a fall and winter garden so that I could use that time and work on the kitchen so let me fix you so I kind of use that time in the fall and winter to get the kitchen done updated painted and all the shelving um, and this seems like an odd time to be doing painting when my garden isn't fully planted but I, um, ooh, my friends came over and they were like, we'll help you paint. And they kind of motivated me to like, okay, I'll start painting again in my free time, especially when I have, uh, when it's rainy days. 
And so this is what I planned on doing today, is getting this paint done. I could totally go outside and plant seeds since it's not raining, but it's really hot out there. It's supposed to be 87 again this whole week. This whole week has been like 87 every day and it's feeling like 100 and something. You guys are probably like, are you gonna paint this whole wall with a brush? I actually like painting with a brush and the only reason, well not only do I like painting with a brush, but this is a little small container and so I want to be able to at least get the whole, all my money's worth. Do you know this little container was $6? I was like, I don't know why I thought it was going to be cheaper. I thought that they were like $3. Actually, it was $6.98, which I didn't even know that. I'm going to scoop you guys with me. So when I got the two, I'm like, wow, that's like buying. I'm like, I hope I like these colors because that's like buying, you know, a pretty good amount of paint granted this is the the expensive brand the marquee or whatever you call it where it's supposed to be like one coat So I just got back in the house uh, oof. and we stopped at Home Depot, got a quart of this color paint. That uh, sample paint was able to do basically the whole, let's see, other, this side going down to there. Um, it looks so good when I look at it. Like so tropical, so bright and pretty. So I am going to start working this way um with the the paint i got my paint brush already again um now that i like have this dining room I'm like i need to put my doors on so that the yellow really pops back there that kind of scared me um so it was so relaxing painting um and we did end up getting a gallon of the top paint which was the what was the top paint called the something light i don't know but we did get a gallon of that color let's go this way so i am going to continue working my way this way and i can't wait hopefully it's already 7 30 the kids just did animals Hopefully, I'm able to let's see, get the rest of this wall, this whole uh, color. I think I'm only gonna have to do the one coat, and then hopefully by the end of the night, I'm able to have this whole living room or dining room completed. That would be really, really nice. And then if I do need to like roll a second coat on it's gonna be so much easier because I'll have the paint inside these grooves sometimes with the roller it's hard to get paint Ooh. inside the holes Good morning guys so it's actually been i think two days since i finished or maybe a day since i finished the walls 
in here. They look so good every time I look at them. I'm so happy about it. Um, I'm so happy with the color I chose. I'm still not sure. Well, I didn't paint that ledge right there, but I think I'm going to, um, as well as right there. Because when I was painting, I was just like, I don't know, that's kind of going into the living room. But now I think even if I don't continue this color into the living room, that I still want to paint that color, uh, the same color as in here. Um, but so happy. It looks really, really good. Let me show you a view from the outside looking in. Okay, excuse the chair. My Anaya is making pancakes on that, on that chair. But... The color looks so good and like I said that part right there is the poetic gray I still didn't finish or the poetic light but I still didn't finish painting the top part but now that I got the bottom part all finished throughout the whole dining room and I might go ahead and finish and adding a second coat because now that I'm looking at it in the light I can kind of see some light spots but I definitely won't have to worry about getting it into the grooves or anything like that. So that's really a plus side. Uh, and then I can work on, I'm going to add shelving. I don't know if I said that in this uh, video, but I'm going to add the same shelving that's inside of my kitchen right here. It's going to be um, kind of the L shape that's on my pantry as well as right here. So it's going to be identical from each other because this... Um, window is in the center and so it's going to have the same amount of shelving probably three rows of shelving here and on the other side because um this is where my kids are going to primarily do their schoolwork and so their books reading books and stuff that's all stacked in the garage will finally be able to come out and have a spot to go right here on this wall and then this wall behind me i'm not sure exactly yet what I want to do with it is is a really really big long wall um, some friends had sent me pictures of like colorful wallpaper or anything like that um, if you haven't noticed I love flowers I love colorful things so I might end up doing that or might just end up putting pictures there um, we are scheduled to get some family pictures taken uh, in May which is you know probably in a week my oh my goodness my husband's birthday is John's birthday is on Wednesday so yeah, the time is going by so fast. I would have thought that my whole garden would have been planted. I still have a week, so maybe uh, maybe I can still get it planted. But anyway, I want to show you guys and finish this video uh, that the bottom is finished. I don't know if I'll start painting the top just yet, just because I do want to get out into the garden and finish planting it um, with the rest of the seeds. I haven't planted any watermelons or anything like that. So I will have to see you guys in my next video, which will be in the garden, planting lots of seeds and pulling lots of weeds.